Hi, Genesis Payne here. I wanted to talk today about diatomaceous earth and how this important, inexpensive product can benefit your family. And um, I have a little bit of it here in a half gallon mason jar so you can see what it looks like. Um, it's similar to a white powder or white flour. In fact, some people call it fossil flour because of its origin. Um, diatomaceous earth is made out of the fossils of one cell plant organisms called diomes and um, they're found at the bottom of lake beds. So there are some uh, quite a few places that have dry lake beds, especially in the desert, and um, they can be mined for the diatomaceous earth. <clears throat> now, I think what's so interesting about this product is it's so inexpensive and it has so many wonderful uses. Um, I'll start out with uh, some of the uses that you can use outside your home, um, in your yard or on your farm. Um, diatomaceous earth, because it's a fossil, it's finely ground up into a powder and it has all of these microscopic sharp edges, which things like ants and slugs and snails and even fleas and a whole number of other bugs just absolutely hate. They won't cross it. And if you know where specifically there's an ant pile, you can lift up the rock or it's in an old tree stump or a particular place where there's ants, you can actually put the diatomaceous earth right on the ant pile and it completely eradicates the entire ant hill. And you can also do a perimeter outside your property. Now, of course, smaller properties, it's going to be easier to make a perimeter around the outside of your property. Larger properties, it's going to take a little bit more time. Um, but another way that you can use diatomaceous earth is you can actually put it into a mesh uh, colander or a mesh strainer and you can just shake it or dust it over your plants. It can go right on your vegetables, it can go right on your vegetable garden, your flower garden, right on your lawn, it can go right anywhere around your house. It's completely safe for pets and um, it will actually prevent the ants from coming in. Um, the bugs don't want to cross it because it's like walking across glass. So um, moving inside the house, you can put it um, on your front, under your front doormat. You can put it um, on your window sills where you, um, um, it's a lot of times people will have the ants come in through the window. So you'll see the little line of ants. You can actually, um, once you clean up the, the ants, um, you can put the diatomaceous earth along the windowsill and prevent the ants from coming in that way. You can put it, um, you can actually sprinkle it right on your carpet, which I do quite a bit. Um, leave it on for 24 hours or so, and then you can uh, vacuum it up. You can put it right on your pets. Um, again, carpet beetles and bed bugs, it can go right on your bed. Um, all of those things um, absolutely hate diatomaceous earth and it will kill them because of the, the microscopic sharp edges that's on the, um, that's contained within the uh, fossil flower. So, and I just wanted to point out that the recommendations that I'm making are for food grade diatomaceous earth as opposed to pool grade diatomaceous earth. It's very important that you get food grade, which can be bought um, online at garden supply stores or um, some of the other places. Uh, I've gotten it um, just a, a random bulk um, dry food place um, and uh, usually in a 50 pound bag. Also feed stores will carry it um, and co-ops. A great place to get it is at a co-op. And don't be shy from getting a 50 pound bag. Split it with a friend or a couple friends. Give it away as gifts. It's such a great um, tool. You can also use it for um, uh, uh, deworming your animals. Um, you can put it right into the water bowl of your pets, cats, dogs, goats, cows, um, all that type of stuff, and it will prevent the parasites from living inside the body. The microscopic edges just go in and pierce the um, parasite and it dehydrates and dies and then the, the animals just pass it right out of their body without any pain or discomfort or, or any other necessary treatment. So it's excellent to deworm your animals. Most organic farms use this method um, and it also presents, uh, um, prevents disease 
And some uh, some uh, time ago, we had the outbreak of hoof and mouth disease, and in a um, hundred mile radius all the way around, all the farms and all their animals were infected. And the little tiny organic farms, right in the midst of everyone, were using the diatomaceous earth, and none of their animals were affected with the disease. So it's a great testimony. And um, it can also be used for people. I give it to my children. You can take about a teaspoon up to a couple of teaspoons several times a day in a suspended in a glass of water. I've even mixed it in with uh, uh, chocolate almond milk to get my kids to drink it. And, you know, they loved it, and it was great. I recommend doing at least 30 days in a row up to three months in a row and then taking a break for the rest of the year and then doing a yearly maintenance where you keep your body free from parasites. Uh, it's excellent, excellent. The other way that you can use diatomaceous earth is it prevents weevils and other uh, bugs from getting into your grain. So you can actually pack your dry food with the diatomaceous earth, just sprinkling it into your grain bin. It's an excellent way to deter the weevils and um, other uh, grain pests. And you can also use it to pack your grain. If you're, if you're packing food into buckets or you're packing food into mylar bags for storage, uh, you can also put the diatomaceous earth right in with the food. When you go to grind your grain or you go to make your food, um, it can because it's safe, it can go right in with your food and it won't change your recipe at all and it won't affect you except for just positive benefits. It also scrubs out, when you take it internally, it also scrubs out your large intestine. So over a period of time, your bowels become uh, regular and, and normal, and um, it gets all the kind of plaque that's been stuck to the insides of your colon over a period of time. So it's an excellent cleansing technique and just all around good product. Um, I just wanted to mention that um, I am him. His image ministry, and I just want to thank the Father for the ministry of Christ Jesus unto all the earth and the message of conciliation of mankind to God. And if you want to uh, find an article out um, with all the real specific details about diatomaceous earth, you can look us up at Him Joseph's Ministry Facebook page. You can just Google H I M, let me show this up again. H-I-M, him, Joseph's Ministry, and um, it's a website or a, a Facebook page that's dedicated to equipping the population for um, uh, thriving in life. So it's just an excellent, excellent uh, resource. There's a whole article on diatomaceous earth that you can find in the notes section. So I um, hope to see you on him, Joseph's Ministry, and um, have a good day. Peace is yours.